Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to make a Fiesta Party Loaf. This is an appetizer that will be great to serve if you're having friends over to watch a football game. It will be good for any party as an appetizer or if you're going somewhere and need to take an appetizer, it would be great for that as well. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need to make this recipe will be listed in the information box below. You can find it on the website or you can find it on the Roku channel. This is what you're going to need. You'll need some frozen bread dough and this is the Rhodes bread dough that you find in the frozen section of your grocery store. You'll need one loaf of that and you'll need to remove it the night before and let it thaw in the refrigerator. You'll need some melted butter some dry buttermilk ranch dressing mix and that is my homemade mix and I will link that recipe in the information box below and if you don't want to do homemade you can purchase one of the envelopes from the grocery store in the salad dressing section. You'll need cooked bacon that you've crumbled, some scallions that you've sliced, pepper jack cheese, and for the dressing part of this you'll need some mayonnaise, sour cream, more of the dry ranch buttermilk dressing. You will also need to spray a bundt cake pan with cooking spray. I have my melted butter here and what I'm going to do is add the buttermilk dressing to it. We're just going to stir this all together. Let it melt or dissolve into the butter. And now I'm going to pull my bread over this way. And I have um, one of these pastry spreaders. I'm just going to put this all over, brush it all over the loaf of frozen bread dough. The dough has been thawed, so it's not actually still frozen. I'm going to turn this over and brush the other side. Okay, I'm going to set that aside because we're going to use it later. And now I'm going to pull my bundt pan over. I'm going to stretch this out. You can roll it on the counter, but I think I'm just going to stretch it. Let me move this so you can see what I'm doing. Just want to make a log. And now I'll pull my bunt pan over. And what I'm going to do is lay this in the bottom of my bunt pan and I'm going to press the ends together. This is what it looks like. Now that I have this in my bunt pan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some plastic wrap and we're going to cover this. And now I'm going to set this in a warm place and it's going to rise for a couple of hours or until it's doubled in size. And then we'll move on to the next step. While my bread is rising, I'm going to go ahead and make the dipping sauce. Now all you have to do to make the sauce is put the sour cream and mayonnaise in a bowl together. And then add the other part, the reserved buttermilk dressing mix. Get all out of there. And I'm just going to whisk this together. And this is looking good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this and put it in the refrigerator and let it chill while we're continuing on making the bread. My bread has doubled in size. I'm going to take the um, plastic wrap off and that's what it looks like. And now what I'm going to do is put it in a 350 degree oven that I have preheated for 20 to 25 minutes until it's done. 
My bread cooked for 25 minutes. I just took it out of the oven and now I'm going to take it out of the bunk pan and put it on a cooling rack and let it cool completely. My bread is cooled, so now I'm ready to move on to the next step. My oven is still preheated at 350 degrees. And what I'm going to do now is move this over to this parchment lined baking sheet. And I'm gonna take a knife and I'm just going to start making some slices down the bread. And I'm going to do this almost to the end, but I'm not going to cut through. So I'm just gonna continue on all the way across. So I have turned my bread this way and now I'm going to start cutting the opposite direction and we're just going to do that all the way across. Again, not going down to the bottom. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you the rest. As you can see, I have my bread cut here. So now I'm going to take my reserved butter and the ranch dressing and I'm just going to start putting it on the bread like this. Just giving it some really good flavor. And I'm putting it in between and on the top. So let me continue doing that and then I will be back. Okay, I have that all buttered. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bacon and I'm not going to use all of this, but I'm just going to start sprinkling it down in between the cuts. I'm going to reserve that for the top. Then we're going to take our slices of cheese and we're going to start putting that in between. Just trying to make sure that I have it everywhere. You can tear it if you need to, to make sure that it fits. And that's looking really good. Can never have too much cheese. So I think I have it pretty much everywhere. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of this bacon and sprinkle it on top. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of my green onions around. Now that I've finished all of this, I'm going to put this back in my 350 degree oven for about five to seven minutes so that the cheese can melt. I just took my bread out of the oven. It was in for about seven minutes for the cheese to melt. And now I'm going to put it on a tray and show you what it looks like served. This is Fiesta Party Loaf served with ranch dressing. I hope you enjoy it.